I mean, you've been at Telstar now for, for what, a couple of months or so. How, how have you found it so yeah. far? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it, like I say. Uh, it's been brilliant. It's a, real, uh, it's a real good learning experience for me. And I've had to adapt a lot, of course, with new country. Um, as you can imagine, so many different things. But in terms of on the pitch, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. It's, yeah, it's brilliant. Really, really good style of play. Uh, the club's the club's great. The manager's unbelievable as well. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying my time at the minute. Mm, and, and you said there in terms of how important it is for, for maturity, but to go into a new culture, particularly at, at the moment, it's been a, a crazy year for everyone. But what's it been like in terms to sort of adapt into all the new restrictions and regulations over in, in, in Holland? Yeah, I mean, it's um, when I first arrived, it was quite... Uh, more relaxed than England but now it's pretty much the same I mean you've got the 10pm curfew masks everywhere like it's just it's normality now and unfortunately that's that that's what it is but you know we have to um, we have to listen to the rules and do our part so that's that's what we're doing here yeah it's been like uh, adapting at first is obviously difficult new environment um, obviously learning the language new roads which, which is crazy that's that because they drive on the on the opposite side, um, but yeah, I think I'm adapting well. Mm, and settled, in, settled in now and really enjoying it. Good, good. And, and and culturally, is there a lot of similarities to to England? Is it is it been sort of fairly uh, difficult to adapt to? Maybe, but in terms of culturally, maybe a bit similar. Or have, have you found that not to be the case? Um, yeah, I mean, it is similar. You know, all, all the people. All the people are, are really nice, make me feel very welcome. So I've just been able to be myself straight away and have a really good relationship with all the boys. Um, and yeah, this cultural, yeah, it's different, of course, but no, I'm getting on, I'm getting on well. Mm, yeah, I spoke to, to Sebastian a little earlier and he said he was, he was quite pleased that he had another English speaker there. Um, yeah, to yeah. sort of help him through, I guess that's, that's the case for you as well. Yeah, there was a, there was a bit of a problem with his... I don't know with his work permit or something at the start. So when I when I arrived, he was he wasn't here for for a few weeks, and then he finally he finally got into training. And yeah, it was, it was so nice to have someone that that was just fluent and can just chat to all the time. Like, don't get me wrong, all the boys are brilliant; they all speak English. But um, yeah, it was really nice to to get some back yeah. training. Yeah, I, I won't ask you to recite any for me, but if, uh, have you? picked up any sort of Dutch or, or any sort of basic level of it? I'm trying, I'm trying. Just, um, I know all the basics, but just trying to learn mainly football, football, football Dutch, you know, the important words in football so I can understand and also like give instructions on the pitch as well instead of, instead of in English. So, um, so yeah, I'm trying. Mm. And, and in terms of on the pitch, how have you found it so far? Is, is it been sort of a, a lot different to perhaps the, the level you've been used to during your time at Rochdale and, and, and also in with, with Norwich's young teams as well? Yeah, I mean, the football here is it's, it's different. It's, it's a lot more technical, which, which I think suits me, suits me very well, uh, which is, like, that's why I'm here, you know, to improve. Um, and they love to play football, Telstar, and so do every other team in the league. So I think it suits me perfectly, and especially with the fact that that's how Norwich want to play. So it's um, everything just links up, and it's just a perfect move for me at this moment in time. I think, and we're we're doing well. We started well. We had a bit of a um, bit of an off game last game, but the previous games we've we've done really well. I think we're quite high in the league, uh, or, or we were last time I checked it. So. Uh, yeah, we've just got to keep it up. Got another game Saturday, so yeah, just got to keep improving every day, and yeah, see see where it takes me. <laughs> mm. uh, is, is it nice to sort of return to to football? I don't know all football, when you play football, you always want to win, but but to actually have sort of three points and and there to be a a real true sort of competitive edge to it in terms of a, a, a league and um, fans, I, I guess to to play for as well is 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 that quite a nice element to have at this stage in your career? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I had it at Rochdale, of course. Uh, and then the Norwich 23s, like Wrighty and all of the money, all of the coaching staff, they all, it's about winning there as well, you know. So it's, it's, I've always known that attitude to win. 
So I think everyone needs to have that, no matter if you play in a first team or if you play in a, I don't know, an under 16s or something, you've got to want to win no matter what. So, um, but yeah, like you say, with it actually being a league now and, you know, potential promotion or potential relegation, um, it makes it more competitive, of course. And yeah, I love it. I love that, that edge to that edge to football. That's what it's all about. Mm. How have you sort of found your first year at Norwich? Because obviously you went from being in a sort of first team set up at, at Rochdale to, to sort of going back into an academy one with Norwich. Was that quite a difficult shift to, to, to make? Yeah, it was um, it was different, yeah. Um, but again, I think it was something that I needed to do in my career. I never had the I've never had the facilities that Norwich gave me, so that that gave me a great platform to improve myself uh, on the pitch and off the pitch, especially with the incredible facilities with the gym and all of the staff like Jay and everyone really that 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 helped build build me into the player that that I am today and hopefully I I do a year here and then go back hopefully um yeah and carry on in the in the first team hopefully that's that's what um that's the aim of course was was last year about sort of education learning how Norwich play learning what they want yeah. from you and, and and maybe likewise as well learning what sort of you want from Norwich and and, and that sort yeah. of is is that how you look at, at last season really yeah 100% because I was 17 when I joined, so going into the 23s is still it's a good level. So, um, but yeah, I just need you to get used to the way Norwich want to play. Uh, Norwich get used to how I play, um, and like I say, just improving everything all around with the facilities that that Norwich have because I, I never had that at Rochdale. So, yeah, to, it's not really a step down, but I know what you mean. Going from a first team into a 23s, it was um, it was necessary for a year, definitely. Was was there any part of you that that felt a bit frustrated at, at that kind of step? Um, because I I know you have to look at the the bigger picture, but sort of short term, like you said there, I know it's not a step down, but it can maybe be perceived in that way if you kind of get what I mean. Yeah, I mean, I of course dropped down into the. I was I was in a first team environment every single day for about two years, and then you make the drop down or whatever you want to call it. Um, but like I was still in, I was still in and around the first team. You know, I was training with them for for like like now and again, and I obviously made the bench against Manchester City in the Premier League, and I was also in the squad for another game. So like I was in and around them, um, but hopefully. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, hopefully, it can be more of a, you know, a constant theme instead of now and again. Mm. Uh, well, what was that like being on the bench at Manchester City? I guess as a, a very young player, that's that's quite the experience to have at this stage of your career. Yeah, it's unbelievable because my house, uh, my house, um, where where I've grew up, where I live with my with my mum and dad, it's five minute walk away, and I'm. Anyone will tell you that I'm a I'm a Manchester City fan. So when I looked across and seen all those incredible players, and like I had to pinch myself a bit to to realise that I'm actually involved against them. Like all these players that I've idolised growing up. Um, yeah, it was surreal, unbelievable experience. But that's the goal, you know. That's the that's the aim to be involved in those type of type of matches every every single week in the Premier League. And and I guess that shows that there is a pathway as well, isn't there, for for young players to to progress through. And I guess this this loan is another step into that. But having that sort of experience of of being on the bench for a Premier League game must get, sort of whet your appetite. I guess must must make you want to get there, as as you said, sort of more often. Yeah, definitely. It just made me hung, more hungry than than ever before. Uh, and you say about the pathway, you just have to look at all the players that have that are coming through and have come through. You know, Max, uh, Jamal, and Ben have obviously got great moves. Uh, Todd as well and I feel like I'm in the exact same situation as Todd Todd came out here for a year as well and now just look at Todd he's the um, he's like the like he's he's shown that it can be done you know so I just have to look at what he's done and hopefully hopefully um, yeah replicate it do the same as him Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask you a bit more about Todd in a minute but in, in terms of sort of deciding on the loan was it you who goes to, to Neil Adams and say look I think I might be ready for a loan or, or is it kind of the other way or is it a kind of mutual conversation I guess in that regard mutual you know everyone knows 
everyone knows my like my quality and uh, I mean we just need to get me to the next step I think that's always been the, that's always been the case since since I arrived really I, I know I had to do a year but that like I say that year was necessary and now we we look forward to the to the future and we know that a first team environment is definitely definitely what I need like I know that myself and everyone at Norwich knows that as well of course that's why they that's why I'm here Hmm. Has, has it been nice to get some experience outside of England after Rochdale and, and obviously a, a year with Norwich? Is it is it nice to have that on your CV? I mean, yeah, if I do well, then yeah, it's brilliant to have my CV. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a real good life experience, you know. Um, not many people can say that they can come to Holland and play football. So yeah, it's incredible. I'm just very grateful for the for the opportunity given. Hmm. Do, you, do you think it'll it'll help you? In, in terms of your, your mentality and, and I guess uh, maturity as, as as well there's that side to it as well I think Todd spoke about it a lot didn't he after his, his loan spell in Holland that it helped him grow up essentially is, is that kind of how you feel that, that you can come out of this loan spell sort of feeling the same yeah definitely I mean yeah like you just have to grow up I mean I've done everything on my own I lived in I lived on my own for a while. in terms of cooking and all the household chores I was fine but it's just like it's just little things like you just have to you just have to get on with it um it's been difficult it was difficult at first of course um uh, but but now i'm settled in it's all everything's good i'm really enjoying that um yeah like i say it was it was quite hard to to settle in but once once you do everything everything's okay and and how much communication have, have, have you had with, with Norwich I spoke to sort of Neil last week as, as, as I said and he, he kind of said that you guys have to have to phone him after every game is it nice to have sort of a, a consistent touch point with the club and like I said to Sebastian sometimes clubs can kind of send players out on loan and they don't really hear from their club again until they come back so is it nice to have that sort of constant um, base to, to keep in contact with yeah of course uh, it's not just Neil it's, it's so many people at the club message me um, Every other day, really, I get a message from somebody at the club. So yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice to to of course speak with them, keep in touch, and like they make you feel as if I am, of course, still part of the club. But like they don't forget about you at all. Uh, you still you still a big factor um, of the club, and yeah, it's really nice. Really nice to just to see what's going on back at home as well. Um, back at the club, yeah, it's good. Every other day, like I say, someone someone's messaging me so. Mm. Does does that help with the the trust element of it that they have sort of got a, a plan for you? Because like I said, there are there are numerous clubs that kind of just send players out on loan. As, as Neil uh, himself has admitted, they they send players out on loan, and it's kind of with a view to them sort of leaving the club, isn't it? Whereas for you guys at Norwich going out on loan, it's actually with a view to a development and, and the bigger picture. I guess as a young player, that must be quite nice to know that there is a plan in place for for your progression to the first team. Yeah, I think you said it perfectly. There, it makes you feel like you are still part of the plan. That's 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 yeah. You said it perfectly. That's what it. That's what they make you feel like. And yeah, I've just got to do my part now because they've done everything that they can to push me in the right direction. So yeah, it's up to me. Have they, have they told you what they what they want from you from from this season? Is is there any sort of expectation or, or goals that they've they've put on your shoulders? Um, nothing really specific, but I know what I've got to do. Uh, I give myself goals. I, I know I can achieve, and I think the club now as well. So I've just got to live up to to that expectation. But I've, got, I've just got to try my hardest, try my hardest, and do my best. And uh, hopefully, the numbers or whatever, whatever you want to call it, the goals will be will be achieved coming the end of the year. We we sort of touched upon on Todd and, and his loan spell to Holland and, and how beneficial that was for him. I, I guess unlike unlike you, he, he didn't necessarily have those sort of games in the FL at, at the early point of his career. Do you think that? that sort of grounding in the FL with Rochdale has, has helped you with, with this loan move and, and maybe the introduction into a first team environment? Yeah. Um, because of course I've played, I've played first team football before. So I knew, I know what it's all about. Uh, of course I played in the, in the English football league. I played in the FA Cup. Uh, I played in everything for Rochdale. So it was, that was, a good learning experience for me to prepare me for this next chapter of my career. Um, so yeah, like I, 
it's that coming back yeah necessary for me to develop off the pitch and on the pitch at Norwich with their facilities and now now back into the first team environment yeah everything's everything's working out as we planned mm, how much sort of I don't know if inspiration's the right word but um uh, I'll use it anyway how much sort of inspiration do you take from from Todd's success at, at Fortuna in in Holland like yourself because that must be well that must give you I, I guess the the proof that this route is successful is a successful way back into to Norwich and and their first team yeah, definitely. Um, because we always talk about Max, Ben, Jamal, and Todd, and I'm literally in the same boat as Todd. I, I, you know, I'm doing it. So I mean, if I look forward to to um, when I'm, however old Todd is, I'm not sure. Um, hopefully, I can be in the same the same position as him. It's pretty, like I know that I'm not coming here for, the, for the sake of coming here, and there's no. There's no next step with Norwich because Todd's shown that that there is, um, and I know with my ability that there is definitely as well. So, yeah, he's um, he's shown. He's just proved it. He's proved it all. Has he has he had any conversations with you about this move? Because obviously it's it's one that he knows well. No, not actually, but um, not not specifically about this move. But of course, when I'm training with the first team, I speak to him now and again. He's yeah, he's a he's a he's a, he's a good guy. You, you you sort of mentioned that you you trained with with the first team. What, what sort of environment has has that been like? Because I've I've heard Daniel Fark is quite demanding, particularly on those uh, particularly on those young players. Yeah, he is of course. Um, I think every manager is, uh, but but I like it. I enjoy it. Uh, that's what football football is. You need that you need that demand, especially when making that step up to the first team from the twenty threes. You have to give it. You have to give a good impression because. Like they're not going to hold back because you're a 23 player. They'll tell you that you need to improve, but it's all about just not letting them, not giving them that chance to to say anything to you because you're you're training just as well as they are. So, so yeah, the demands are the demands are very high, of course, because we're a championship, Premiership club. So, of course, they're they're going to be high. But when I step up with them, it's yeah, it's it's brilliant. I love I love training with them. Has there, has there been anyone in, in that group when you did train with the first team that's really taken you under their wing? I know that obviously the young lads, I guess, are probably the, the natural answer, but is there anyone in particular who's, who's kind of put their arm around you a little bit and, and helped you through it? Uh, all the lads, really. Um, like Naturally, we we just um, tend to like hang around with the younger lads. Like, that's just natural, but is like Tim Closer of course he's he's done as well on his um, he was he's very they pick anyone out it's just an environment to be around the team um, is on the pitch he's always um, talking you know to try and Little pieces of advice, and off the pitch, he's he's the nicest guy. Yeah, it's really really nice to be to be around him. And and just to to sort of talk about Telstar now, how, how have you found life under Andreas Jonker? He's obviously got a a fairly good pedigree in developing young talent. He was at Arsenal, wasn't he? How have you found him as as a coach to work at, to work for and work under? I guess. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, you say he was at Arsenal. He was at. You just have to look at his CV. He's been at unbelievable clubs. Um, yeah, he's a brilliant manager. It's um, like 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 I'm saying, it's such a good learning experience because he's such a top top manager. That the 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 little pieces of advice that he gives me, um, like it's just like I'm not gonna get that. He's been in at so many different places, so his um his knowledge is. Like it's just so good with the with the play with the clubs that he's worked with. Um, yeah, it's it's really good to 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 be coached by him and learn under him with all of the with all the knowledge that he's got. Hopefully, it, well, it has already improved me a lot, but hopefully, it continues to do so. Are there any similarities with with his style and and, and the style that Daniel Farker uses at Norwich? Is has there been any sort of noticeable similarities between the two? Yeah, definitely. That's why I'm here, really, because 
they like I said before, we we play very similar to Norwich. Um, it's just get the ball down and play. Just play, play, be brave, be have guts. The manager here always says, um, but it's true. You have to be brave on the ball, and that's what the the manager at Norwich is like as well. So, yeah, one team's in Holland, one team's in England, but they play the the exact same football. Yeah, lovely stuff. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you very much.